is our PH2. We introduced it about three years ago, and it's been a real hit. It now has become 50% of our sales. Um, it features an opposed piston pump line, a new style pump from what we had in the past. They're greatly simplified. Um, very easy to work on, very easy to take apart, uh, rebuild. The machine, as I said, has been tremendously reliable. Um, it has a pressure balance control system on it in case you have a clog in your gun and you may wind up going off ratio. This will immediately sense that and shut, shut the machine down. It also has a countdown timer on it. It will take 2400 cycles for this machine to exhaust a 55 gallon barrel set. So what you'll do is go and enter that value into here. When you hit that 2400 cycles, the machine will shut itself down. Both of these features can be bypassed if you don't want to use them. You can simply just turn them off and continue to run the machine. In some cases, people really don't want them on. And in most cases, people do, especially the pressure balance control. This unit can run 410 feet of hose, and it comes in both a high pressure for polyureas, that's a maximum operating pressure of 3200 PSI, and a foam um, a lower pressure version, which is going to be 2,000 PSI. This is our new mechanical purged gun we introduced at this show. It's used for slab jacking, as you can see over here. It can also be used for spraying foam and polyureas. We've had mostly just an air purge gun for the entire time we've been in business, so we're really proud to go and introduce this. Okay, so this gun is set up for slab lifting. And then that just fits into the nozzle there. And there and clips on. You can trigger the gun. And then you can see we have a little mock-up of like how foam would be in a void to go and lift the slab. Here we have an extended reach gun we call the Apex. <laughs> this will allow you to go up to 10 to 12 feet of reach as a spring foam. Also reach out. During tests, you'll save up to 30% over a standard gun using this. So it's just an air trigger on the inside, and what we did was we took a trigger off of like an air grinder for an automotive tool for safety. So right. you can't accidentally click it. All you do is just click the safety back and pull, and this air trigger in here will trigger the gun just as a normal air trigger would on our standard AP2. This comes complete just like this. You'll hook this right onto your coupling block, and you're ready to go. It is actually comfortable when you put a set of hoses on it. You can get it tucked in, and it's very comfortable, even at 10 foot. I sprayed an 8 by 10 foot wall, the whole wall with this, and I thought it was no problem. So not quite as difficult to maneuver as it, you might think. It is much easier than you think. It is. And it saves time with ladders and scaffolding and stilts. It's much safer. You can go from the floor all the way up. You can go up, down, and full 360 degrees. And it's included with every gun.